The magazine Forbes called him an ambassador of the French art of living. We are very proud to work with Paris-based interior designer Tristan Auer, who embodies the elegance of French high-end designs throughout the world, to quote Forbes once again. He learned a scenographic approach that he called the wow effect. So Tristan, obviously I'm wondering what such a wow effect could be in the bathroom. Yes, yes, you, you know the inspiration that's very strong because working for Axel, working for this type of taps designed by, uh, uh, by Jean-Marie Masso, that was a very good and strong inspiration for me to create this uh, decor, this fantasy uh, based on a, on a movie, based on a movie inspired by Blade Runner from Ridley Scott that I like, like particularly and, and which is very strong in uh, energy, in story, in emotion and in colors. There is a real, real strong ambience which goes perfectly well with, uh, with our subject today. So if we t go to this bathroom concept, the Blade Runner bathroom, um, and with the collection Axel Edge from Jean-Marie Masso, how would you describe the color concept in this idea? Uh, as I, I put the decor in uh, Hong Kong, let's say the 90s, uh, but that time uh, I thought about, uh, as I'm doing interiors made to measure to client, I thought about which client could it be? And this guy is certainly very educated, passionate about arts, passionate about objects as I am. And uh, so he's very eclectic. And um, Hong Kong is a city which is at the cross of two different civilizations. Uh, one which is a British Empire and the other one which is China. And it works perfectly together and enhances this feeling of a modern city based on common uh, use and common objects. And uh, so th that, that was definitely how I started. And there is a shock of color contrast. You know, Hong Kong is only about neon, about flashy colors, which reflect on the floor, which is damp because of rains. And uh, there is this reflection and surrealism feel. So when you have one color, in fact, you have several, you have thousands reflecting in different places. And I guess that's also why you introduced the neon lightning and then this black and light travertine we have, and then also the stainless steel, so... Yes, exactly. This is a very masculine place, uh, room, bathrooms. And travertine, but this is strong, this is a grey, silver color very uh, uh, very harsh, very uh, straight. And, uh, and the, uh, at the opposite, there is some sculpture which are more curvy, more feminine. Uh, and I like this good conversation between those two. So, uh, and I incorporate the stainless steel, which is uh, cold, but uh, reflect in very high level, is very interesting. So I clad all the shower with these finishes, which is perfect for uh, uh, a humid environment and reflect the beauty of the, uh, the head shower and of the lighting effect of the AXO head shower. It definitely is a perfect platform for our collection. So perhaps uh, cycling back to this scenographic moment, as you also mentioned, the inspiration was somehow Blade Runner in this Hong Kong city. So could you expand perhaps a little bit how you start to work on projects for if a customer wants to have something designed by you, how do you start that? Where's this wow effect? So first I tend to listen him, him or the family or the brand I'm, I'm working for. Uh, because I need to get inspired. I'm not talking about myself. I'm not really interested in myself, but more talking about the client about the personality of the client. And for this reason, I need to understand and know what it is to uh, suddenly announce it and reveal his personality. And more than the personality, this is sometimes the relationship within a family between all the all, all, all different people. So first is to listen without any pencil. And then I start to think about something uh, I've uh, uh, and those stories echo to what I've 
used to live and all my uh, uh, culture or non-culture into in terms of cinematographic, interior design, uh, architectures or whatever. And then I start to design for himself and then it's very, very fast. Uh, it goes out as I'm speaking, so very fluidly. And uh, I know instantly what will be not what they want, but what they need. So actually the choose of colors in the bathroom or in an interior design project depends very much on the personality of, of, of the client. Yes, correct. And especially because colors are something which is talking to you, mm -hmm. uh, to your background and to your history and to what you, what you live. And there are some colors that people quite often tell me, green, I hate green because that reminds me when I was in the college and I had bad experience, blah, blah. blah. And I cannot fight against that. Color is very personal, but color is very important as a touch, a sort of a jewel that I bring into uh, an environment to create some emotions, some rhythm, some attraction. And uh, I'm not the guy which is very colorful, painting everything in, in like a yellow, orange or red. No, much more as a touch. As you can see behind me, you see my my room, it's very much, and this is my office, gray, white, bronze color. And suddenly there is one color which pops up uh, to reveal, to energize, to wake me up and to make me happy before everything. And this color, for instance, the one behind me, it's, an, it's a painting from an artist, Swiss artist, Karl Gerstner from the 70s. If I'm bored about it, if I want to change it, then it's very easy. I can, I, I can reuse and recycle and put something else according to my mood or to my uh, uh, um, taste or moment of life. And it, you have been doing interior projects internationally also for many, many years. So do you see a development of how colors have been applied or what customers have been asking for in, let's say, 20 years ago, 10 years ago, and what is now in, in the future happening more related to color trends, especially perhaps in the bathroom? Uh, so, y yes, there is some trends in, in color, as there are some trends in, in interior design. Uh, through the age I started in the 90s, everything was white, uh, white, white, white and black. And then we turned into, into more uh, textures, natural textures, wood, natural wood. Uh, and since uh, three, four years now, it's very colorful. There is colors everywhere, uh, even in bathrooms. And I did some projects, especially in bathrooms, hotel project in Paris. And I remember my bathrooms that I, uh, I had in my, uh, my apartment when I was living with, with, with my mother when I was a child. And it was at that time, remember, I'm sure that you, 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 you do, uh, all the appliances, everything, the bathtub including, was colored. Nothing was white. And my mother's was burgundy. And on the wall, there were these burgundy tiles as well. So when I recreate for this hotel project, this high in color bathrooms, uh, referring to this trend to the early eighties, uh, that we find again, the trend today of those very uh, high, high colorful. And, uh, uh, and if, even speaking about the, the, the taps and finishes we use to, 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 to add only uh, stainless steel taps, no colors. And now finishers, meaning scholars, are coming back, which is very, very nice and makes me happy because you can combine and select and play with that. Exactly, because obviously the color of a room makes the ambience and atmosphere change, but then also the colors of the objects, including faucet showers, accessory in the bathroom, also change. So perhaps if we cycle back to your um, Axel concept, which you developed, the Blade Runner bathroom, how do you feel about the surfaces you selected for the Axel products? Is that, I think it was, there was a lot of gold, if I don't remember, if I remember well, right? Yeah, they, they were uh, gold, bronze and, uh, and different finishes. It was 
uh, gloss, but it was matte on certain aspects. I like the variety of the, of the actual range of color. Uh, this is very pleasant to use. This is very rich to use as well. And uh, uh, it, it, to tell the truth, it was very difficult for me to select one which I like better than the other. Uh, so I select uh, gold because it works well with all the environment. Uh, but I remember that I did other scene and options where we had like the black one or the, or the silver on the uh, so very almost impossible to, to, to choose the best one. And, and um, however, if you would have done the same bathroom, same concept, same idea with, uh, let's say, chrome faucet, it would completely look different. It would have a different appeal and different atmosphere. So the polished gold actually is, is, is your final choice. Yes, it was my final choice because it reflects uh, the, the blue neon around the, uh, around the mirror. And as it's in the, it's a night ambience, it's, it's a little bit warmer. So if I would have selected something else, I would have changed everything. You know, it's, it's a question of harmony between all the different finishes and colors. And uh, sometimes it works and sometimes it, it doesn't. So, uh, um, and, and I like to adjust to change and to, uh, with my client, I'm never closing any doors to, uh, to a new option and, or new improvement. Mm -hmm. uh, I know the importance of their home, how it is for them. It will be for, for a long time because uh, when you use product as AXO, it's for, let's say, for life uh, because of the quality. So uh, to, 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 to select the, and to choose the right one is very highly important. Yeah, it's also a great uh, or huge responsibility both for the customer and you as interior designer to, to make the right balanced choice for, for their interiors where they will then live for many, many years, I guess. Exactly. High responsibility because it's, uh, you know, people are not doing their house every morning. Um, and, they, and, and they need to love it forever. And this is maybe the most challenging. Timeless, which is a world that is coming back uh, and a, a lot, is, uh, is a goal, but it's, uh, uh, we should not avoid to have some pleasure to consume and to have objects which are not boring, but uh, well-designed good quality, good finishes, and, and then you love it forever. Very interesting. Perhaps final question uh, for today. How do you apply colors in your private home? So I, I have the chance to have many homes. Uh, so I've got my Parisian apartment, which is very in phase with what's outside, what I see. So it's shades of beige, of gray, and, and with uh, some touches of colors. But my um, countryside apart of house, I have the chance that it's in the middle of the greenery of the forest, there is a river. And the story is uh, uh, sort of the art of fishing from, uh, some, uh, from the 40s. And uh, each, there is not a touch of white. So each panel, ceiling, walls, dado and doors receive a different color. Uh, sometimes I've got six, seven, eight colors per room. And it, it was very tricky sort of a cuisine, haute cuisine to do and to adjust and to test. Uh, and all those colors, uh, according to the, to the direction of the room, if it's south or north, uh, the color of the natural light of the sunlight is not the same. So that has a strong impact on the walls and on, on, the, on the feeling of the room. So I adjust uh, the selection of colors based on that, if it's a morning uh, sunset with, uh, with, a, with a very warm light, it's different than if it's, uh, if it's a north orientation. And, uh, and I learned a lot, I played a lot, I enjoyed a lot. And then I bring all the different panels, paintings, objects uh, to reveal this color. So that goes all together. Uh, we have to, to think when you do a, a, just a plain wall that it will receive other painting artworks 
and it has to go together. But that it was for me just heaven to be able to have so many rooms because in total I've got like uh, 25 and uh, each of them are different with a different story and a different mood. I guess it's also about finding the balance. Um, Tristan, thank you so much for being here today with us. I personally did have an aha moment today, not only the power of color, but also how you imply it. So it's about the contrast of materials and colors and how you bring that into balance. Thank you for sharing all these insights. Thanks a lot. Really appreciate it. And in case you just stepped in, we have two more inspirational interviews prepared for you. We speak to an international renowned color expert, Judith van Fleet, on the influence of colors and materials. And in part three, we have Benjamin Holzer, our head of product management, and we explore how Axor is bringing individual luxury to your bathroom.